Hey, this is John. Welcome back to another review. This review is going to be with this thing right here. Cheetos Mac and Cheese Flamin' Hot. Notice I didn't say Mac and Cheetos at time. Anyway, this one still says made with authentic cheesiness. And the ingredients list cheddar cheese and it lists blue cheese. It lists blue cheese spelled B-L-U-E. So I'm kind of uh, weirded out by that. Is it just cheese that turned blue, or is it actually the kind of you may add salad dressing, with salad into a salad dressing, or uh, you know, B L E U cheese? Um, it's kind of disappointing that they spell it like that, actually. <clears throat> anyway, let's get past that. Cheetos Flamin' Hot Mac and Cheese, third of the flavors that I've done. Here's what it looks like. Disturbingly red, I would call it. Does it still have the... Can you hear that? Still has the wet, wet audible noodle sound. I did taste this a little bit um, in the cooking process, and yes, it tastes like flaming hot Cheetos. Here we go. This is actually this is definitely the the least cheesy flavored of the three. And it doesn't really you you still have to add butter and milk to this. The other two. The cheesiness really like uh, combines with the buttery richness to have a good emulation of like a, a a melted cheese. This one doesn't have that. This one kind of tastes like you're eating spicy red food dye, and it is spicy. It's spicier than the the cheesy jalapeno one, which is more like a subtle smoky spice. This one has like a, a one that's like it's like a flavorless spice, where it's just like it's all heat, no pepper flavor. Well, it's still not extremely spicy. Like I'm not sweating, I'm not in any type of pain in my mouth. This one's my least favorite out of three. It's kind of disappointing. I feel like flaming hot is what excites people about Cheetos. On the back it again says to add the Cheetos to it to add crunch. And this one's probably the best idea because the flavor's not there. Let's see what I would do now that I've had all three. <clears throat> what I would do <clears throat> is take the regular cheesy Cheetos uh, mac and cheese, which I think is the one that tasted the best. It was like the cheesiest flavor. Tastes like really cheesy Cheetos. And if you want that to be spicy, you take a bag of flaming Hot Cheetos and you mix it in. That way you have the best of both worlds. You have a good cheesy mac and cheese. But then you add a topping to it that's both crunchy and spicy. I'm almost finished. See, it's down to the last a little bit. And like finally at this point, I'm finally feeling a little bit of the, the faucet kind of nose drippings starting to happen. A little bit of the heat at the back of the neck and behind the ears. So let me know in the comment section if you've tried any of these three, whether you got it in the box or in the instant cup. There you go. Empty. 
Except for a little bit of a red sludge in there. And there you have it, macaroni and cheese, Cheetos, flaming Hot. The regular one's my favorite, followed by the jalapeno one. And this one's my least favorite, just because, <laughs> excuse me, as it, it got spicier, it got less cheesy. If you're going to have Cheetos, it should be, before anything else, taste like cheese, be cheesy. This one, it kind of tastes like unflavored spice. With some cheese in there, yeah, it's not completely cheeseless, but the original is way better, more cheesy. And like I said before, I think the perfect method would be to use the regular macaroni and cheese and add flaming hot Cheetos if so you wanted a hot, spicy macaroni and cheese from this brand, the Cheetos brand. Overall, I think it's a good it's a good line. They already did, you know, the Burger King Mac and Cheetos. So why not make back boxed macaroni and cheese for home? It's an easy thing to do, you know. You already got the flavorings. Macaroni and cheese in the box has been around for forever. You just augment that flavor with your Cheetos flavor, the milk, the butter. And there you go. You got your own macaroni and cheese with the Cheetos brand. What other kind of chips do you think they could, or chips or snacks, they could make into a, a macaroni and cheese flavor? Maybe like a Doritos? You could have a, a Cool Ranch macaroni and cheese or a, a, a nacho cheese macaroni and cheese. Lots of interesting things to uh, consider there. Uh, but anyway, overall, I'm going to give the entire lineup of, of uh, products a 7 out of 10. It's a decent, good, uh, decent lunch, snack, or uh, part of a meal. There, that's the calories, and again, that's two and a half servings, so there's, multiply that by two and a half, that's what was in this bowl here. Alright, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, hope you enjoy the end product. I certainly enjoyed eating them. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.